Hey there, Cameron. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Dungeons and Dragons. I know we did a Wi-Fi Friends podcast about this. However, I've started uh, playing a game with uh, some guys I met online. Uh, so we're using Roll20 to play D&D, and I'm not DMing this game. I am actually a player character. So I wanted to kind of do these little vloggy, vloggy videos, whatever, and talk about like each of our sessions, if anything funny or interesting happens, or just what's going on. So we are doing an Adventures League game. It is uh, the Black Road was this adventure. So uh, we have been hired by uh, Azam, uh, this like shopkeeper, to take these statues and these supplies, these religious statues, to the city of Parnast. Um, so it's uh, myself, my character is uh, Lushana Rosnar. He is uh, like a lavender-skinned tiefling monk. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds a lot like me. Uh, Lavender Skin, Tiefling Monk. Uh, he's a, the kind of bastard child of a notorious family in the city of Waterdeep, the city of Splendors, uh, along the Sword Co Coast. Uh, he's lived his entire life in the Temple of Aldath, who, uh, if my Google search is correct, is the goddess of peace and kind of fate run in that area. So um, Lashana is kind of on a mission to spread the word of this new, this, not new, but this god that you know um helped him throughout his life and also to maybe change the perception on his family's name uh so a little bit of selfish reasons a little bit not selfish so uh we go along we go on this trail um it's uh there are four of us uh, one person couldn't make it so it's just three of us for this uh first kind of game and everything was going pretty swell uh we camped uh but through the first watch we got attacked by some goblins and Man, whew, ah, uh, that was weird, because we are, we're just like, okay, it should be fine, whatever, but, like, the first hit I took knocked me down to one hit point, like, <laughs> I forgot how much level one is just so squishy, I only have nine hit points, the first goblin hit me eight hit points down, I was like, oh, am I gonna just, I'm gonna die first, first encounter, but I was actually able to, uh, kill a couple I actually got a little how do you want to do this so I was able to crack uh, my quarter staff cracked it in the skull and I did sure you can a little uppercut to, to murder it so it was pretty exciting that went all well um, and good we slept the rest of the day went on met some mercenaries along the road uh, some Zintarum I believe Zintarum mercenaries and they we were just like yo we don't want any trouble like we're just trying to pass along, whatever. They're like, yeah, man, cool. We don't want any trouble either. Uh, there's actually some hobgoblins up the road. Um, they want a toll. So, you know, just deal with that, whatever you're going to do. We're like, all right, dope, cool. We continue along, and then this giant sandstorm appears. And it looks like oh, it's this giant sandstorm, and it, it was possibly either being controlled or being ridden on by, like, this castle that was, like, in the sky. Um, super interesting, super cool, like, it sounded awesome, um, and I think there was a giant involved, it was stressful, because we were, we had basically one round to figure out how we were gonna save all of our supplies, so I grabbed some rope and tried to tie stuff down, and I failed my roll, so <laughs> that didn't work out, but we were able to save, uh, the statues, and we were able to save some food, we did lose, like, the weapon supplies, though, and the water and medicine supplies, so, they weren't too happy about that, but we continued along. Went up to this toll, we paid it. All right, we're all good. Got through the gate. Then some some two bugbears tried to um, trap us. Uh, we dodged that trap, whatever. But these things, no joke. So there's three of us, right? Two of my party members went down. They they just went unconscious. Um, I was able to force feed one of them a potion. Uh, but the other guy didn't have anything, and we don't have, like, a healer in our party, so it was just the two of us uh, against two bugbears, but, um, our, I think, his name's Ky, or the character's name is Kyrie, I believe he's a warlock, uh, came in clutch with a sleep spell, did the sleep spell, one of the bugbears went down, so, uh, so we were just doing everything we could to fight this other bugbear, um, and the dice, oh, the dice were just not in our favor. They were just, and we were just rolling bad, just not hitting it. Um, and then finally, we were able to kill it, and I did like, I think I did like a stone cold stomach <laughs> to kill this bugbear. Um, 
yeah, my, whenever they ask me, how do you want to do this? I just go for like, all right, what's a cool thing that like I've seen in like wrestling or video games or whatever. So it's going to be a lot of dumb stuff like that. We were able to fight the bugbears. We were able to travel the rest of the way, made it to Parnass, dropped off the supplies and stuff. We made a friend, Azam's our boy now. And he's like, yo, if you need any help on the black road, I got you. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's so cool. Like, I like that. Um, and the temple, uh, I believe is going to like provide us some shelter while we're in town because we delivered these statues to them. So that's where the, the session ended off. I'm very excited to see what happens next. What's up with this castle in the sky thing that's going on. That sounds dope. Um, and if there are giants around and if we're going to have to fight a giant, uh, cause, uh, I'm a monk, so I just kind of run up and punch things. So... I'm um, hoping to get to level two soon because uh, that's when I start to get some fun interesting stuff with like key points and stuff like that but either way this is my our first session in d and I just want to talk a little bit about it uh, what was happening and I will talk to you later